Bruh. Greetings, ladies and gents, and GFR Cards is once again back with a new report that is starting right here and right now. And today's time check is around 6 13 a.m. GMT plus 10 at July 18, 2020, Sunday. <laughs> Alright, so, because I didn't uh, get my message clear from uh, the bra stream from last time, let me reiterate it. So, so again, when, when we say, when we define the spine in general, the spine is what actually keeps our uh, torso in shape, and if... If you all notice, it is what most of our body parts link to, like the the head, the arms, and the legs. Without without the spine, you can't actually make uh you can't actually link those uh limbs together as one. And another thing that the spine does is the movement of the human body and so essentially it serves as the backbone for the torso it helps our torso to be in a perfect frame and uh, more importantly it is also designed to contort and bend giving us the flexibility that we need in our daily lives and if you were if you were uh if you folks were from my previous stream right here in in this server alone i mentioned to you guys that the spine is isn't actually the most important part of the when it comes to drawing anatomy and here is why so let's say that uh you try to draw the spine right and then, after you draw the spine, you think that everything looks fine. So you, you decided to draw the torso. So let's say like a box or something like that. All right. So the box for the for the chest and a box for the uh, hips. Sorry. All right. And then you and then you're gonna say like, oh it looks fine, alright, so let let me proceed. So you're gonna be like that. Then you're gonna proceed to draw the spine, or, or rather the, the torso itself. Pop out doesn't not seem to work for me. I don't know why either. Alright guys, so uh before I proceed, uh are there any issues that you're experiencing like from what K. Alberich is experiencing like the pop out display everything's uh, fine on your side just before I proceed so that uh, everyone can have a great stream experience bang democracy at its finest Bruh. Let's say that you're drawing the torso, right? You're casually drawing the torso in uh, whatever way you want because it's there. The base is there. And so you're trying to proceed. Then now you have your torso, and then when you when you yeet this off, uh, this base off from from the screen, you're you're saying that like, oh, why is it why is this flat? Like, I mean, I did a spine, I have the base already. What why why still looks flat?
Alright, hold on. Another another bra moment. Sorry. Bro, what the freak's this, man? Bro, what the hell? Alright, I hope nothing will happen from this point on. Alright. So... Alright, can, can you all see my screen again? Yep. Right on, alright, so... Sorry about that, uh, it's my internet's fault, it's not my fault, alright? Just an FYI. Okay, so, alright, so let's say that you have the spine already here, right? And then when you, when you try to yeet this, uh, base off, you were like, you were like, hey, what the freak? What? Why is it still flat? I mean... Look at this, I, I just curved the spine and it is still the same thing. Why it's still stiff? Well, yeah, you have a problem if you're thinking it that way. But more importantly, the spine isn't the issue here. But the real issue here is... The real issue is these parts. Can you see why? Because, sure, you're curving the spine, but does the chest and the hips follow? They don't, right? And that is the common mistake that uh, new artists are committing in every single day in their uh, career. And so we're going to fix that. So, th think about uh, this. All right, so let's think about uh, this. Uh, I'll show you a video of... Uh, I'll show you... All right, so... So to prevent issues, so let's... Uh, to, pre to prevent... Issues for the stream, I'll stay on the screen for now, um, at least on my iPad at least. So, imagine a chicken, right? So, a chicken's neck is essentially a nerfed version of a giraffe's neck. And, and so you're gonna ask, like, why, why, uh, use a chicken as a reference to the chest and the hips? Well, here's the thing. So if you notice the the movement of the chicken, right? You notice that their head acts separately from its uh from the rest of the body, right? So like let's say when you try to hold the body, when you try to hold the chicken's body, its head remains virtually stable as if like it's uh, it keeps in position, right? So the same thing actually applies to, the same concept applies to when you're trying to draw torsos. So imagine the chicken's head as the chest and the chicken's lower body as the hips. So I'll show you how. So let, so a spine, right? 
or let's try something in the middle to a spine and then we're gonna draw the we're gonna draw the uh Gonna draw the chest. So you have your chest right here, and then the hips may be like like this. My Discord is made in China, guys. That's a fact. But uh, don't worry. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm keeping this uh, tutorial as concise as I could. Because, uh, you know, I don't want... We don't want uh, tutorials that are long because there's too much information flowing in our head, and we're trying. We're going to avoid that. Okay, what the? Fuck? Now you can see the difference between this and this, right? So the problem with this is it's a it's a fifty fifty and. Uh, the problem that uh, this left part has is that they're too aligned. The chest and the hips are too aligned together rather than following the, the direction of the spine. Compared to this, it actually uh, follows the direction of where the spine is contorting or arcing. And this is what you guys need to... Uh, is what you guys uh, need to at least uh, consider when you're trying to draw your torsos. So, yeah, that that's essentially the secret. And the same thing when you're trying to, like, rotate the torso horizontally, like, at least the upper torso. It's at least, it's the same concept. So, let me show you. So when you think of it like a cylinder shape, as a, it's a basic breakdown, the guidelines would essentially look something like this. So here's the center line in which, uh, or let me put that in uh, another color. So let this is the center line, right? So the center line essentially serves as a symmetrical ruler for for uh, when you're trying to draw uh, symmetrical objects from left to right and uh, the like. And the same thing goes here. And as you notice, it's supposed to go on, what the frick? I'm sure my internet is made in China, so yeah, I know <laughs> technical issues. All right, so if if you can't hear me, uh, like last time, 
like I said, we have a contour line right here, the the red outline. This uh essentially this essentially uh measures the symmetry of the uh objects left and right. And the same thing goes for the horizontal uh contour lines right here. Are are you guys following? All right. Yeah. Okay. So I'll I'll make this uh, quick as I can. So so let me reiterate again. So in case if no one has a uh, if nobody didn't catch up. So these red lines right here are called uh, contour lines. what they what they actually what they uh actually serve is they help with the measurement of objects left and right which uh which essentially uh it measures the symmetry of uh objects so that uh you can uh either fix which side is uh which side is not following the symmetry or which side is asymmetrical and make them symmetrical. So, yeah. All right, so now now that uh, we have the basics right here, I'll show you how to... Uh, All right, so now that uh, we have the basics right here, we'll uh, show you how to actually draw the torso. And uh, yeah, don't don't worry. Uh, I mean, the stream will be edited, so in the the edited version might take like less than the current stream duration. So don't worry. All right. So right now I'm going to show you how to actually uh, draw the torso using uh, the fundamentals, the fundamentals right here. Okay, so first, uh, let's say, uh, so first, mm, draw the spine, then depending on your style or your personal preference it can it can be like a, a circle or a box shape it doesn't matter it's uh it's your preference but uh in this case i'll go with the uh, um the box or yeah let me redo that again So, a uh, box shape and yikes, and then another box shape for the hips and uh as you can see like when when you notice when I draw torsos. I don't I don't go like uh I don't draw straight boxes but instead boxes in the boxes which is uh they are uh in an in what do you call this boxes in perspective or like you know distorted boxes like this. So instead of going this, it's best that you draw boxes like uh in a form of a not necessarily a fresh eye perspective, but at least give it some curve so that when you when you're trying when you proceed through you will be able to uh you will be able to drop torsos not in a 
flat or stiff way. So now that you have that, it's time for you to uh, add guitar lines to that to determine uh, where you should place the features. All right, so next up, so it's the so instead of going like this in which you guys uh commonly do, I don't recommend doing that. Like uh, you know, arc arcs from uh or parentheses from left and right. I don't recommend that because that's the most difficult thing that you will do when when you when you adjust your uh or when you fix your torso so instead of going like this instead of uh arcing the the womb like that i recommend you guys to uh do the to uh do this instead the v shape so All right, so uh, back from uh, another unnecessary commercial break. Uh, so again, if you miss my voice, so instead of uh, arcing the the womb like this, what what I recommend you all to do is make a uh, a V like this. So the reason why you should uh, make a V that ranges from the ribs to the to the crotch area is is that uh it's at least from my experience it's it's easier to map the the uh womb placement so let let me let me show you as i uh progress through rest Uh, you, you guys can follow just in case, because uh, my internet seems to be uh sushi me a lot a lot this time. All right.
All right, so. All right, so now you notice, right? Uh, see how the uh, the curves up from the back is, uh, it looks dynamic compared to something like this, right? Like, or like, you know, the arcs from left to right when you start rounding the torsos, right? So as I uh, as I progress through, this will be the this would be uh the results.
All right, so uh, now, now you can see how dynamic this looks, right? That, uh, the, point, the main point here is when you're trying to draw torsos, uh, you'll, you will always have to start uh, with this. Uh, this V-shape will be your ultimate weapon. Because uh, this will determine the curvature, especially for females. This will determine the curvature of the the back, the the abdomen, or actually the abdomen. Because for females, especially for like uh, curved waifus, for me in back in my experience. Their abdomen, their uh, abdomen is the, they're one of the uh, most difficult things that I've ever drawn since back then, then, back then when I have like a lack of anatomy experience. All right, so are there any questions so far? Do, do you want me to like, uh, do you want me to keep moving on? And uh, experiencing the most vibe checking stream known to man. So, uh, any questions before we proceed? Oh, uh, yes, exactly. That, that is the, this is exactly, uh, how you should do it. The V shape right there that ranges from the the so called uh, booba to the down down to the uh, crotch area. So no questions so far. So uh, okay. So uh, before I proceed, uh, the most important thing about torsos is, like I said, it is the the uh, chest and the hips and as you progress through you should consider the uh you, sh you should cons consider the v-shape that uh like i said ranges from the the armpits down to the, to the crotch area it's it's your only key to uh determine the the not essentially the symmetry but it is the the proper form of the torso, which is whether male or female. I'm pretty sure he was able to explain most of what he wanted. Exactly, yeah. But, uh, like, don't worry, guys. Like I said to you, uh, this stream will be posted on YouTube. And fortunately for you guys, uh, I got this thing, uh, recording so that you will be able to hear what you, uh, what you didn't hear since when the stream is, uh, yearing us off from the, from the fun. So, all right, so l let me proceed to the Q&A. So, are there any questions that uh, you want me to uh, transact with you? So, like, regarding the, how do you draw the torso? Where do you connect the bottom box to the V-shape? Uh, 
What do you mean about that? The bottom box. Oh, okay, I see. So for the bottom box, I said that I say uh, you should find the the centermost part of the, the crotch area. That's what I had to say. So let let's say that uh, you have two lines that uh that are surrounding between the the side ribs right so as it goes down uh it as it as the the v shape uh merges down to as a one it enters uh it intersects to the bottommost part of the the box shape you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that's essentially how to. Uh, that's essentially how to draw it. So again, when you when when you're trying to apply the V method, make sure to uh, start from the very start from the side ribs or like yeah the side ribs or if you want the boobas, then work your way down to the crotch area. I don't know how to word it better, but uh, because I know you horny kids are, it's your it's your nature as horny kids. Then I guess it's the best way to put it. But yeah, that that's essentially the basics. So, all right, are there any questions so far? Damn! Seems you all you all so confident when you want to draw you. You seem you all so confident as if like you seem ready to draw your own waifu shape by shape. I'll give you that. Yeah, sure. Uh, keep going on if you have any questions. YouTube link. Yeah, uh, either you can uh, check my profile right when you click on my profile, my uh, Discord profile, it's actually linked there. Or like another alternative is you can wait for the announcements for for me to uh, post the stream on my YouTube channel. The mods will bring you there. <clears throat> The belly button lines. I mean, they're they're actually uh, easy. So, I mean, uh, so long as it so long as uh, it follows the the guideline or the placement of the or essentially if it follows the curvature of the the waist, then then the the belly button should be. Uh, it's essentially when you drop the belly button, it should follow the movement of the waist. Yeah, exactly. Can you use gesture draw? Can you use a gesture drawing when drawing anatomy, or do you focus on one or? Yes, exactly. In fact, right now, my my very own technique these days. Is that uh 
I start from just your drawing, then work my way up to anatomy because it's easy for me. And because just your drawing has, it has the, uh, the full template right there compared to anatomy. So yes, just your drawing as your base, then work your way up to anatomy because yeah, it's, it's, uh, essentially like what I said earlier. All right, so, uh, any questions so far? If not, maybe, uh, those who come to the stream and those, uh, who had their, uh, to those, uh, who didn't get, like, vibe check so bad, I praise you. You deserve a burger from me. All right, uh, so I guess that's it because uh, no one's asking questions based on the data provided by the DOC. People are watching this video are allegedly looking for the best and easiest ways on how to draw. For more information, please call our 24-7 hotlines at 1820 subscribe, 1820 post notifications, 1820 like, and 1820 share. Please subscribe or I'll take your waifus and dakimakuras. Time check right now is 7.08 a.m. Ju July 18, 2021, Sunday.